Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Pisces please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Pisces. Twenty second to the twenty eighth of February, twenty twenty one. Okay, so we have the Emperor. Very nice. Okay, message for Pisces, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you for the week. Very nice energy. We have support. You have the support you need. Definitely getting that energy through. Okay. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Pisces. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. Abundance, I mean, this is beautiful. You see the gold that that angel is holding and smiling at you. Definitely feels some abundance coming your way. You have the support that you need. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, Pisces. The first card is your current issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your outcome, future outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. Okay, nice with the world. We have the Five of Pentacles with the world. The Four of Cups is advice from Spirit and your I've pulled two cards interesting king of cups and the strength card okay so what do we have for Pisces please angel spirits guides message for our lovely Pisces thank you can we clarify the cards on the table for Pisces this king of cups can be you by the way Gemini is a Scorpio for me as a reader, but it, in a general reading, it can be Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or the energy of somebody like that. Okay. Can we clarify the cards, please? Angel Spirits Guides for Pisces. Yeah, Sun, love it. Oh, nice message. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups. <laughs> yeah. And. The Magician, yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups here. Okay, Pisces. Yeah. With this abundance energy, the Five of Pentacles, I'm, I'm feeling more that you've been affected. It feels this is to do with your relationship here, but it's something that's affected your relationship and it feels to do with finances, money, career, and changes in your finances, money, career have affected your relationship. And I'm also getting, and I just wanna say this at the beginning, um, there may well be, you know, like sometimes with interviews and you might well be meeting one, two, three people at different stages of interview, um, you know, where they go through the sifting process and hone down, you know, to the right candidate. It might well be for some of you that somebody or maybe one of those stages, somebody isn't quite feeling, um, that you might be the right person, but it might well be that somebody else in that meeting feels you are the right person. They're more influential. I'm definitely getting the energy of 
somebody who is above a leader who is in charge really sees your potential so that might happen for some of you i was definitely getting that kind of energy with this reading you know it might well be you know certain tiers levels it might not work out with one person might be a bit of a fly in the ointment but it feels like you have enough support around to convert something to success so for some of you it definitely feels in this situation definitely feels in this situation that you have the support that you need and it might well be you're not aware of it um could be with a large organization that you're going for lots of tiers national multinational so for some of you that might resonate the emperor is, can be somebody who is head, who heads up an organization. Um, great initiator, entrepreneurial energy, visionary energy. He is a strategist. He understands how to bring solidity, security, success, make things happen. So it, you might be meeting somebody like the emperor this week, or this is you. This could be your energy. The emperor is a card of empire building. Um, understanding how if you've been through unstable situations how you by your own actions by being in your own power the king of cups if it's you with strength being in your own power you have the ability to bring solidity and security and success this is a real card of success the emperor he is very successful energy you might be meeting an influential male this week can be this card could be a male in business it definitely feels as an energy i mean this is an, an opportunity for you to take control to bring success to take the initiative so powerful powerful energy you have the support that you need to bring abundance your way yeah and i, and I feel for some of you an influential male if it's to do with two or three people making their mind up about you in terms of job career this influential male will trump anybody else you know it's that kind of energy and i don't know why i'm saying that but i'm feeling that energy quite strongly so it obviously resonates for somebody we have the five of pentacles here and the world card so challenges in terms of finances financial loss career loss job loss um, feeling left out in the cold, rejected, um, changes in your financial security. It's coming to an end. The period is ending. Though in the challenge position, it feels like it's never going to end. But there's definitely closure coming your way. And the message is that you will come through the other side of the situation and step into your light once more. This is a card of good news, celebration, joy. Uh, it's also a card of growth and it's also a card of material success. So is the world card. The world card is a card of goal achievement, material success. But in these challenges positions, there can be delays or setbacks or, you know, further test challenges coming up. It might well be you have to jump through. I'm seeing and jumping through another hoop, jumping through another hoop before you get to the sun. You know, it's that kind of energy. And definitely feeling, will this ever end? I'm feeling stagnated, nothing's changing. Well, there is. There's going to be a breakthrough. You're going to get the victory. It, you will get clarity in how a new path will unfold this week. It definitely feels for some of you, I mean, you might be hearing news. You might be getting some message or information through here that brings some kind of breakthrough that connects to this sun coming your way. Uh, things looking up, feeling good, positive energy. I can put that challenge of the past behind me and step into my light, my power once more. Um, and like I said, it could be with a large organization or entrepreneurial organization. Um, but, you know, this is, it's coming, you know, this is coming, you know, the, the divine nudge card, it's coming. So keep taking action. You're being guided towards some kind of happy opportunity victory success breakthrough yeah because the the world card in a sense is not is is delays in terms of the breakthrough and then the breakthrough comes so i can definitely see in the cards that it's coming here yeah 
the message is if the king of cups is you then this is an opportunity to rise above challenges by your own strength by your own courage conviction resoluteness and also pisces persuasiveness You'll be very persuasive this week, so play to your strengths in that area. It feels that whatever this is, you have a lot of knowledge about it. Um, it feels like you have a lot of non you're knowledgeable about this industry. And it definitely feels in this situation that it feels that that is your strength. You have the opportunity to rise above situations. Yeah, mastery, achievement. Now, this King of Cups could be somebody who you might be meeting as well. Like I said, there could be people, different tiers, different levels, you know, things like team leader to overall, you know, head, you know, that kind of energy. You might be going through a few hoops. And for some of you, again, there may well be a test, but it feels like you'll be rising to the challenge. So I love that kind of energy for that reason. This is definitely an energy of rising to the challenge here by being in your own power and your own persuasiveness here because we have the magician you have the opportunity you have the magic to change something negative to positive the lack to abundance this week could be in terms of some breakthrough coming your way here something that you're going for here something that you're wanting to manifest and the magician is a clear sign of it is time to be in your power whatever other people say to you in your external environment the magician is a card of self-mastery you know th this is when i'm definitely getting this energy here pisces of don't focus too much on what they're saying focus on you you know focus on your own ability what you believe you to be uh, what you stand for your power your skills, your experience, your knowledge, your capability, your talent, your mental acuity, you know, your experience to really bring positive change to your life. Because a magician is when you understand your own power to bring change, that's when the magic happens. And it is. I mean, there's definitely energy of the Ten of Cups. This, I'm definitely getting this energy of the hard work paying off with the Ten of Cups. It is a card of productivity. Could be for you, your home, your family, people who you care about, who you bond with, can be to do with relationships, family, your home, your property, your setting, you know, that kind of energy. This is the rainbow of blessings. The fact that you have fed the rainbow by the hard work and delivered the success. This the Ten of Cups is a card of success. So I definitely get it's a happy success. So I definitely feel for some of you, there is celebration to be had in the home, the family, uh, some kind of breakthrough coming your way. That is by your own actions, by being in your own power, by not listening to what the outside word, world is telling you, even in interviews. Because I do feel for some of you, there may well be somebody a fly in the ointment. But don't focus on them. Focus on those who are for you. Focus on your own capability and your own self-belief. And I definitely feel in that energy that will make you strong and persuasive. Definitely in this energy to bring this Ten of Cups, the Happy Ever After card, goal achievement as a result of hard work. So I definitely feel in this energy, it's a beautiful, beautiful energy here. I feel that there are people who support you, who see your talent this week. Yeah, and I feel that the harmony is being restored. You're getting the harmony back. Having gone through some challenge instability in terms of money, career, finances, I definitely feel some kind of happy harmony. You know, by your own effort, you are aligning to the happiness as well. You are creating this rainbow. So I love that energy. Okay. Final message for Pisces, please. Final message for Pisces. Final message for Pisces. Yeah. <laughs> we have hidden depths. 
Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. I definitely get this, this feeling of digging deep, you know, digging deep, rising high, that kind of energy. Feels very beautiful. I'm going to pull you one more card. Yeah. Healing. Love it. We have... Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal. Yes, even you. And there's definitely an energy of rising above a situation by your own power to persuade and working your magic to create some kind of goal, harmony, not just for you, but for your family, people who you care about. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Pisces. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.